So today, right now I literally just came back from the movies and the first thing I want to say is it was an amazing movie. Now, I don't know if um, the movie theater I went to was um, empty or something, but when I went it was empty. Maybe it was because this movie was like, came out last week and like, Maybe a lot of people went in that first week and now second week now that so much people but in my opinion I think this was an amazing movie. Um if you see the movie, great actors, great sound effects and some spoilers on the movie so I really liked um like whenever the whenever we saw like gunshots, gunfire or anything with weapons when it was fired. It, it was like, it was like as if the gun explosion was literally happening, happening in the theater. You know, like, when they talk it like goes soft, but like, when we hear that, like, one, two bullets, an explosion, and like, that's when they, I guess they, they elevate the volume when they're gunfire. So I guess, like, people in theaters like me, um, hear it more in the audience when I'm watching it. So I really feel felt really immersed in that like I was literally with them in the gun chest, but um little spoilers on this movie. So in this movie um like the title implies civil war. So um in this movie there's two factions we meet the Western Frontier, Texas and California and then um they're against you know, I guess we see you know the government people the the people who uh support you know the president you know the people in washington dc and they're kind of fighting this i guess militia texas and california you know they're um they're kind of just you know battling these the government officials and then at the end of the movie we see like um the what this western frontier you know they storm the capital and you know at the end they successfully execute the president now um the one reason i really like that is because i feel like it really one it really says a lot like this to me when i first saw the trailer like i thought this is a great movie because this shows one of the possibilities um outcome um between you know president biden and president trump in november um i feel like there will be a lot of outrage if like trump wins of course there's some half of america will be like yeah we want trump we love trump thank you but the liberals the one who you know are with joe biden the one who want who they wanted you know to pick Joe Biden to continue his presidency um I'm pretty sure they won't react like very nicely like we know how the liberal activists extremists are so this isn't really too far-fetched from the future like in this movie instead of following the soldiers like we do in regular war movies we actually follow the life of the press so like war journalists like we see journal we follow the journalists like um you pretty much see what the journalists go through to get that perfect shot so we see them like risk their lives in the in the front lines to get a picture um you know we see them go through a lot of hardships like one i mean i probably expected like this was gonna happen in your life but a lot of unexpected things when we followed that reporter like uh frontier people and especially to then this is why i think um you know, journalism the word journalists are so so dangerous because literally um towards them the movie like i said they stormed the capital and so we see the main militia of the western frontier and they you know storm the capital with the like the whole war the whole operation if you saw the movie it was like they were rolling up to afghanistan with tanks and everything so they break in 
they're in the White House. They're trying to, they're fighting to, you know, get the president. And, um, right as they have to click, you know, one hallway, um, to open up, you know, a path to the president's Oval Office, um, last minute, the little girl that we also follow in this movie, she kind of, because she's inexperienced and new, she kind of gets in the way, like, um, she moves to the middle of the hallway to get a picture. And then, at the same time, at the other end, there was this secret service guy who was, you know, re ready to shoot, because remember, this whole uh, thing is, we're in a battlefield, battleground. So, I mean, I guess, casualty of war, like he didn't, anyways. So, as he shoots, the girl, the little girl, 23 year old reporter, she's standing in the hallway about to take a shot. But luckily, one of our main characters, older lady that we see our main character, I think she's blonde. Her name was like Sammy or Lee. Her. So, she last minute, you know, um, just pushes the girl out the way so she doesn't get shot. And instead, she, Lee gets shot herself in the back a couple of times. And then, anticlimactically, she dies. And then, after she dies, you know, we, the story still continues. Like, we see them still in the president's office. Um, what I found really funny was that we saw when they stormed the president's office, I kind of giggled at this, but when they stormed the president's office, uh, he, we, like, like, they dragged, they literally dragged the president across the Oval Office, like, he was holding on to the, I guess, his desk, and then, as they were about to kill him, because they didn't, they weren't taking him as hostage, the reporter guy comes in, he's like, wait, 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 everyone wait. And then he kneels down to the president, and he says, I would like a quote, because this whole time, since the beginning of the episode, he said, the main reason why I want to go to DC is because I can get, you know, they said I can have an interview with the president, and I guess in this time in this universe the president hasn't done an interview in like 18 months or something so he he you know as the, the president is about to die he the reporter asked him like can I have a quote which I thought was hilarious and then the president he says everyone's dead and then I think that's when they shot him and then you can see at the end of the movie, the end credits, when they have the names and everything. You can see they, cause like, since this was like kind of, we were following a journalist, like they took, they showed a picture of, um, these, um, the soldiers that killed, um, the president and, the reason I found it so funny is like, cause they were posing in front of it, like, they're posing with the president, the body for a picture, like kind of a, how we see those trophy hunters in Africa do when, you know, they take down a lion and they take down, they take a picture with their, I guess, prey or whatever. So I thought they did the same thing. I thought that was kind of funny, but um, yeah. Overall, really enjoyed this movie. Um, like I said before, really the, the main reason why I was interested in this movie is because when I saw the trailer, it, in my head I was like, oh, this is a movie that like shows us like what the future could look like for America because the, in, cause in this movie, the reason I think it resonated so much with us is because it wasn't because it was a more war movie, there are several, but because this was like literally like America, like you saw American flags, um, real states like Texas and Cali, and that's a real thing because we know Texas, there's that uh, immigration border, uh, whatever, there's that problem there.
and I guess the Texas guards are not listening to uh, the President Biden and Texas they're kind of doing their own thing now so it really makes sense for Texas but I don't know where they got California because if you have been keeping up with the times Texas and especially California they're like really opposite like that's where most of the liberals are so I don't have I don't know how Texas and Cali got along maybe it would have should have been Texas and Florida because I mean Florida with Ron DeSantis like they kind of had the same philosophy so but um either way very realistic um very realistic scenario and then like it was every, cause everything was modernized like we saw tanks, Humvees, helicopters, uh, their base and then like they're fighting in the city um, we saw mortars go off in the city like everything was really modern it was like as if we were actually watching the American army like in action that's how realistic it was and yeah just overall i really enjoyed it and just wanted to make this little video to um to i guess convince other people um to definitely go and watch this or at least give it a try because it was really an amazing movie um like i said i think the one thing that really resonated with me is because I feel like this is a real problem. Like this could actually happen, and we saw it in the movie that, um, you know, like not even the leaders, but the people were divided. Also, like um, um, you saw, but there was these people, these citizens, they had M16s and everything, like hillbillies, a very realistic. Game hanging out in the gas station and then there was other people who um like it was it was like as if it could really happen the one scene i really liked that was really real slick for me was that so this guy he was camped in this big mansion house and then the house was on like a golf field where like he, there was field everywhere it was like a golf field he was on a golf field in the, in the house and then there was this sign it was like welcome welcome it was like a welcome sign and then in the middle of the road you just see this dead guy with uh, the uniform and he's obviously been you know killed and then as um as you know the car is approaching um, as they cross the line, like, we just hear this guy snipe you, uh, snipe the car, and then, you know, they get out to check the car, and, the, uh, not check the car, but to get out and, you know, to ready themselves, and then, uh, coincidentally, there's, you know, these two guys that were already trying to snipe. Um, you know, we see these two camped out guys, like full on ghillie suits and sniper and scope. Uh, we see that scene, and I don't know, just the whole setting was very modernized and very realistic. Like, I could say this could actually happen. And then, uh, what made it even more realistic is that in the movie, we visit our main characters, visited some things like. Um, I think like Charlotte or you know some towns in the middle of the country and if you saw the movie it was like they they um they even describe it as entering like some kind of time portal because that the middle of the country it was like um what it look like before they announced this whole civil war so it was like a neutral the middle of the country was kind of like a neutral place like you saw like just regular people in public no guns there you didn't hear any gunshots there were still stores out there um and you know their explanation was like yeah we know this award is going on but you know we tried to stay out of it 
so I feel like that whole thing is very realistic and probably could happen because there probably would be people who's like oh that's not my problem so I wanna I'd rather just stay with my little store and my own business so I wouldn't be I'm not really surprised that there, there will be there would be people like that if I act that but either way like I said before great movie great actors great sound effects great storytelling and uh yeah I really recommend you guys uh give it a try or at least watch the trailer um and um if you guys are gonna watch it I think you guys should hurry up because like I said this is the second week and usually like uh, movies they stay in theaters for two weeks at most so I wouldn't be surprised if by like Sunday we see this movie out of theaters now I could be wrong because um you know maybe some maybe this movie like really sells so they might keep it for in theater for a bit longer until like theaters for a bit longer but yeah either way great movie urge you to watch it and um yeah really like it but um yeah um yeah just really enjoyed it um also one thing i i didn't really want to talk about this but i share it with you guys so after the movie my dad said um because i i told my dad some things uh like i told my dad that now it would be fun to actually be in, you know, a civil war. Like in this movie. It looks fun and everything. But, um, yeah. Just let me know what you guys think. But either way, I think I'm just getting to here. Please leave a like, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye.